What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Nighthawks Relocation Fantasy Draft Franchise. It is about to be week 11 going up against the Houston Texans. We just got done getting absolutely, I mean honestly the word I want to use, it doesn't go too well in 2022. It kind of uh, starts with an R, um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's it's okay, it's alright, um, you know, 3 and 6. Don't know how the, uh, the Panthers would have played. But we're going to go to week 11. I think we have focus scouting as well, which is important. Even though we traded our first round. Oh, my Lord. They're 7-2 and two with Tyreek Hill, GG. Uh, but <laughs> you know, even though we traded our own first round pick away, we still have a first round pick. And I don't know how the Panthers are playing, like I said. But please don't have any more wins. Wait, did they lose a game? And then they... I can't tell if they lost a game. I don't know. But they're 4-6, they're and six, which isn't like crazy better as long as we finish within a game or two of them i don't feel super bad because it was gonna take a first round pick to get wills he's obviously a super great player would have went pretty high in the uh the fantasy draft um, but yeah i mean this is uh this is our re reality now we're uh three and six team that got smoked 63 to 21 against a fellow six, uh three and six team at the time or three and five team i i suppose let's take a look at the player of the week i wonder wonder who would have been player of the week uh, on offense. Russell Wilson. Who is that guy? Never heard of it. Bro, what? It's one thing for us, the user, to get beat with eight touchdowns, but Jonathan Taylor broke the single game rushing record in sin. What? And it was by one... Okay, which one of you guys is actually in the league? Like, no cap. Wh who? Who is it? Which one of you actually snuck in the league? Like, I ain't even joking. I ain't even like, who is it? Like, what? Not by one, though. What? So for the focus scouting, I went with the tackles. Uh, quarterback is an option. It is a uh, position that maybe we do draft. But I think when you're in a team that has a lot of needs, it's not like a quarterback can just save you unless there's some athletic god. So, I mean, realistically, beefing up the offensive line even more. Uh, maybe working on receiver. Potentially, uh, you know, cornerback, stuff like that, I think is going to be better long term. We have a decent quarterback room that has potential. Don't know if Mon finishes the season as the starter. He's really on that, you know, kind of cusp of just losing his job any given Sunday, but he's just shown so many signs that he can be great. And the problem is, you look at our quarterback room right now, and they're all very, very similar players. I mean, you look across here, and it's just like they're all the same. I mean, Mon has the best throw power by far. You look at the accuracies, they're very similar. I don't know what the... Uh, ooh, throw under pressure is pretty bad for Mon, though. I don't know what the actual, like, release is for uh, Mond, but... Yeah, I mean, they're very similar players. It's just Mon's a decent bit better. I mean, with that 87 throw short, I mean, that's pretty damn high. Of course, he's 23. He's not much older than Glass, and obviously Cole's older than all of them, so... It's just kind of like Mond is the best bet, I feel. But if you have not seen the roster because you're new to this series, new to the channel, maybe maybe subscribe. I know I ask here and there. and It works. It doesn't work. I don't know. But this is what the squad looks like. Obviously, uh, the morale is down a bit. Chase Claypool should be really down in morale because he's just playing like absolute trash. Uh, we definitely need to take more jump ball shots to him because... I mean, he is good at that, right? Uh, of course, was Davis always revealed as a superstar? Run committed. Ooh. That's not bad, actually. I kind of feel like he should have inside stuff. But at the same time, run committed is pretty correct as well. I just don't want to have something too OP. I feel like because the game gave us that, we should just stick with it. If not that, something else run related besides inside stuff. Goal line stuff, perhaps, would be the best bet. Defenders with this ability use faster run shed moves for a better chance. I think goal line stuff or run committed is very fair. And then for the second one, uh, possibly run stopper. Because once again, he is, that's his goal. Uh, inside stuff is probably fair, but it is super broken. And then as far as Brian Burns go, uh, uh, goes, he probably should get something new. He really sucks. I'd rather have him, What is where is traits actually? Spin and swim. He's got 92 finesse. Uh, I don't know how OP it's going to be, but I think we should give him Speedster. I mean, Speedster seems pretty fair, right? Obviously, Edge Thread's, like, brokenly good, but we're going to go with Speedster. Another order of business, take a look at the Texans' rosters. They're 7-2, and 
with Teddy Bridgewater as the starter, which is interesting. Joe Mixon is a very good running back in fairness. Wide receivers, Tyreek Hill, we knew about that. Devontae Smith is actually pretty solid too. Keelan Cole and then Rager. Looking at the tight ends, Robert Tanyan, he's okay at catching, I suppose. Catching's really high, but his catching traffic sucks. Really good left tackle, best left guard in the entire league. Center's okay. Uh, right guard's eh. Right tackle, solid. Left end is very good. Uh, right end is very good. DT is really good. Uh, outside linebackers look really bad. Devin Bush, I mean, they got some speed there. Corners are rough, but they have a little bit of athleticism. Same with free safety. Strong safety is really slow. I mean, our receivers should work well. Their pass rush should be decent enough to get to us, especially with our offensive line. But we should have an okay game, at least in the pass game. Of course, you look at their offense, and they are really doing well. They pass the ball, you know, about 60% of the time. That's that's not crazy high, considering the league we're in nowadays. Their short passing is super effective. I'm going to go with short pass defense. And then for our attack... Their defense actually is surprisingly good. I think we're just going to go with short attack as well. Ooh, I didn't notice Sean Murphy bunting with Superstar. Got a couple upgrades as expected. Javian Hawkins with an upgrade. Give us something nice. That's that's pretty nice, actually. I'll take that. 89 juke move. Very solid player. Rashid Walker. Of course, uh, he's more of a power blocker. We got to get that finesse style up because he's a, you know, a tackle. Uh, decent finesse upgrade, but he obviously still is... A far ways away from being a great player. Fioko or Fayoko uh, with an upgrade. I really want him to play, but he's really just a poor man's Chase Claypool, and he's pretty old for a guy that's, you know, not developed. 24 years old. I, I think he's just like one of those in another life situations. Gillisby, who's actually a really good overall, and he's not even that old, uh, gets an upgrade plus two to zone coverage. I mean, he's got great hit power, too. Cole Turner, my boy, for the final upgrade before we get into the game. Give me a speed. Uh, medium round plus two, two to catch and traffic. That's a pretty good upgrade. Catch and traffic and uh, short to medium route running is very good. I had zero idea he only had 73 catching. My man's kind of good considering. All things considered, he's, he's not terrible. Jeez, though, that catching. A bit better of weather. Obviously, it's just the sun's out. You know, there was no rain last week. It could have. He kind of got lucky there, but I suppose, you know, you put up 60, you get 63 points put up on you. It probably doesn't really matter what happens. Oh, look at us. Now we're really good. <laughs> Those numbers are, uh, I don't know who's our graphic guy. Even our graphics guy sucks. Even he's 3-6. Uh, and six. <laughs> like, Jesus, man. Uh, but obviously, a long stretch of home games coming up here. Of course, no Jets. Uh, this is our year. Um, wrong team, wrong card, uh, wrong venue, wrong sport at this rate, probably. I don't know what's going on with that person. But Kalamon decided, you know, I'm going to come out of the tunnel twice. That's, that's how drunk we are of a squad. I mean, <laughs> of course, Teddy Bridgewater on the other side trying to get his crowd going. Obviously, they have, uh, I wouldn't say a more to play for, but, you know, we're playing for our lives. They're just kind of chilling. So, I mean, I don't know if that really helps or hurts us, right? We're have, we have more pressure, but we might be more reckless, more risk-taking, and it could benefit us or we get put up 70 on. So, I mean, let's just get into it and see what happens. And honestly, if they would have let us surprise on onside kick, I would have done it. I didn't even care. I would have tried it. Screw it, dude. We got Tucker. But instead, we're going to be kicking this thing deep, and we're going to see how Teddy Bridgewater is start of the season. And I say started, but it's we're actually past the midway point now, which is just crazy to think, but it's it's factual. Uh, really good. I mean, even better, well, at the time better than Russell, because obviously after that eight touchdowns, zero interception game, you know, those numbers look pretty good now. Russell Wilson went from potential retirement to maybe front runner for MVP because of playing us. That's... I mean, we're a really good PR team, I'll tell you. Anderson, I mean, if we, yeah, I was about to say, good job, Anderson. All you got to do is finish the play. Even if you get beat, as long as somebody comes up, you know, we slow them down, it's not bad. They lose a yard. Of course, Tyreek Hill, a problem, without a doubt. And, of course, you can see Jordan Davis' first game as a superstar, technically. And they're going to run it again, gain some yards. Third and four is manageable. We're going to, once again, talk about that risk. Going up against some speed there. We're going to go with the mid. We're going to try to get there in time. And we don't. That's a good try. Melifanu in man coverage. 
on a short route to Devontae Smith. I mean, that's kind of a mismatch, right? The speed, the agility, the size in their favor, technically. And, I mean, that's a really good play by Jabril Cox in man coverage on the outs. Jalen Rager, obviously a guy that's been really slow at developing the league. Can't even beat a linebacker, which is... I mean, don't get me wrong. He's super athletic, but that's just kind of bad. Let's move Jordan Davis over. Got the double move, and that's... Oh, he fell down. That's okay. <laughs> He's. I feel like he was in two minds. He's like, do I just go out of bounds because I'm already headed that way, or do I try to cut in? And he, like, just tripped over his own feet. Of course, we're going to try to make a play with Brian Burns here off the right tackle. And we're getting a push. Jordan Davis with the sack. <gasps> Uh, hello? This lineman's... Uh, can we make a trade? I know it's a little late, but... You want to be our new running back? Good work! Of course, Drake Jackson comes in. I mean... You gotta pick that ball up, dude. Ah, uh, he just... Yeah, that's... I mean, it is tough. But, you know, Teddy kind of gets back in there for the ball. Yeah, that's rough. But good play, though. I will say, that man, Jordan Davis, is a big fella. That's a big fella. Not a bad start, though. And not a good punt. Of course, I actually do want to see the numbers for once because I really don't know. I might be giving Kellen Mond more credit than he deserves. 22, man. <laughs> it's not good, right? Like, that's... I mean, my man's here making freaking Jay Cutler look like a Hall of Famer. I'm just saying. But it is a tough team to play for. And we try to get that block. Couldn't really get it against two. That time, I won't really blame the lineman. You know, it was, it's kind of tough, that situation. He's got two guys to block, really. And we were just about to throw it to Claypool. They did bring the blitz there, in fairness. Just took a bit of a long time to develop. Well, they brought the blitz, so fair enough. But the center, dude, the, line, the left guard sold. Again, back-to-back -back plays. But the center's got to just kill him, you know? We're about to get that to Claypool. Maybe we have more, but obviously, you're looking pre-snap. Well, at snap, and you're like, okay, Claypool's way more open if you're going to go for a slant. I mean, once again, we just get sold down the river by the line. Probably isn't that great at blocking, but still. And there goes 2-2, two -two and... All right. The leash is getting shorter. The ice is getting thinner. Punt God going for some distance here. Let's see it. It's pretty good. Come on, Scott. That's a good tackle. Scott's a pretty good special teamer. We also couldn't score. So, I mean, we'll take it. Oh, good job. If Nizaraldine wasn't there, Joe Mixon will still would have been running. Of course, we'll take the fact that it's 0-0, zero zero, but opportunity to get out to a lead. We're not very good at holding leads or getting to them. So, anytime you get that chance, Wolin, nice tackle on uh, Tanyan. Obviously, Wolin's a very big guy, but he's not very heavy. So, it's very easy for him to still get trucked. Cox, free play, gets the hit. Loss of three. That was quick. You can hear that sound. I was uh, Sports Center getting the, the highlight up already. That was, I mean, that was almost instant. <laughs> to the outside, we kind of have two cover. Anyone going to come up? Missed the hit stick, and another guy missed the hit stick. We need to kill. And it's a good job by us. As, um, we're not going to miss anyways. And there goes Joe Mixon, Burns, tackles him, but it's going to be a first down. I mean, unless we force a f turnover here... It looks like that scoring will uh, will begin, unfortunately. Oh, I thought... <laughs> tricked by the X on the field. I thought Andrew Thomas was a superstar. I was like, no shot. Jordan Davis is a god. Oh, almost a fumble, actually. But somebody got there. Jordan Davis just took on two players and, because of his size, squeezed out the route, basically taking the running back out of the play as well. As Anderson's going to get a free rush. Woolen gets lost. Uh, tackle, please. Devontae Smith down to the two. I thought that was going to be a pick. Tyson Anderson causing some pressure to happen. And the ball just kind of looked like it got out early. I thought it was going to be picked. Now they're at the two with a fresh set of downs. This is uh, not a good start. We're going to go with that run commit. Test Jordan Davis out. And he gets a nice push, but unfortunately, uh, they kind of wall him off. And they will get the first points of the game. But it's okay. It's still early. You know, we're, we haven't really made any, like, crazy mistakes. Of course, they have that stupid ability. Underneath, there goes Mr. Moore, who I would have thought was actually 2-2 Atwell, but 
It is not because there's two tight ends rather than three wide receivers. And do we trust Claypool? I mean, I definitely don't. But I kind of like the look. I don't like the look. A lot of pressure. 2-2 two -two Atwell. Look at him go. Gains about nine. Beautiful play. That's huge. I mean, that's like a one or two yard gain. And it seems like whenever we get into those situations, we really sell. Let's run it up the middle. And really good block. Well, it was. That was a face mask. Excuse me, refs. We're not doing this again. I mean, these refs have been real hit or miss, especially against us. They've been really miss. And up the middle, try to cut it back in. I mean, okay blocking. It's just, you know, they kind of had more guys than we could block. Get the play action. I actually don't mind this. I still think you should not go with the comeback and just have more drag out that play. I mean, we can't really go with this. Please. Oh, 2-2! Two, two. That was such a dumb throw, but it was a linebacker. Even though it's Devin Bush, he's very athletic. He's bigger. I mean, we risked it, and 2-2 Atwell just bailed us. I thought we were going to get that ball across left. Okay, last time we ran this, 2-2 uh, Atwell got open. We just couldn't get the throw off. Come on. Oh, no, we we did, and he holds on. 2-2's killing it. He's killing it. But I think uh, we missed the throw. We, we didn't have – it wasn't that we didn't have enough time. We just missed the throw. The throw was overthrown. It's a pretty good play. That crosser is just filth. As Hawkins is going to get any blocks. Once again, it is a stretch, so maybe we should have went all the way to the edge. But, I mean, we kind of ran out of personnel out there anyways. So, they're kind of ready for this. Wait, we have a block? 2-2! Two -two! What a throw! What a catch! Touchdown! That's a really good throw. Considering to... Look at, look at Sky Moore. That's not a tough task, to be honest. <laughs> the man is a feather. Man, that was literally like all him. Atwell was just, he was just the guy. We absolutely sold, and it probably should have been picked earlier. And T.T. Atwell just jumped it and saved the day. Ah, Tyndall gets turned around. Robert Tanyan gets the first down, or just about. Probably, honestly, worse for us that he didn't. Jabril go deep. Oh, there was pressure, too. Stern's good tackle. Damn, was that Tyson Anderson? Was literally on him. Kind of have contain, buddy. Uh-oh. Speaking of contain, we did not play our role. Joe Mixon, easy first. And it's so weird. Like, it is a heavier formation, but, like, they still have the threat of the pass. Ooh, we kind of didn't back up enough. Good tackle, one-on-one, -on -one, Patrick Peterson. But, you know, I mean, they like, they still have the threat of a pass. Even when we bring that many players down for the run, it, like, we're just not going to make that play. No safety help. Kind of drawing down. And that's a huge hit fumble! And he picks it up! Jabril! Finally, we forced a proper fumble. I know we forced a fumble with the sack, but quarterbacks don't count. But Jabril! Put Jabril Cox at tight end with the hands, though. Picks that up with one hand while there's freaking traffic. Ah, uh, once again, not really 76 or 78's fault. Their players just get in there. I don't know what to tell you. They just, they filtrate well. Second and nine from the 28. Gonna try to go back to Hawkins, but this time in the pass game. And this is kind of a dead play. Although, I will say, if 97 doesn't make that play, the linebacker got blocked up. I mean, that's probably a first down and then some. Is this Sky Moore? We did have Hawkins. Come on, Sky Moore. Damn it. I thought we were easily going to get that first the way it lined up. Damn, we probably had Hawkins. That's what happens when you predetermine, kids. Yeah, Hawkins would have had the first down easily if we would have just played it to him, but we just kind of predetermined that, that, you know, Sky Moore was going to be the route. Tight end's pretty open there, whoever that is. Good pick up, though. Patrick Peterson. No, Melifonwu, really good job. Kind of covering two players there, only gives up three. I will say I'm very impressed by whoever picked up the wide open curl route on the inside, or, well, I mean, kind of a sit down. And Woolen, yes, with the pick. Run. Somebody block him. Yes, Woolen touchdown. Who blocked him? Is that Drake Jackson? I was about to say Woolen earlier. You know, he kind of got beat for that play that set up the touchdown, but he was in good coverage. It's just, you know, kind of a bad situation. Teddy Bridgewater throws that a little predetermined speaking of, and Woolen just reads it. He ain't dropping that. Gets the pick. And once again, I don't know who blocked off of that the last second there. I think it was Drake Jackson. 
I'm just going to be honest. I'm surprised it wasn't a block in the back, though. That's what I was worried about. Anderson. Oh, yeah, Joe Mixon's. Yeah, I mean, I'm the fact, I'm surprised we even got a couple of hit sticks on them, to be honest. Is that Tyreek? Oh, hell no. Oh, we got beat on that one. Good job by Stearns. Oh, that's a good cutback. Tyndall, though. Good job. That's all right. That's all right. Bringing the blitz. Yeah, some. I mean, somebody's going to get open there. Once again, we keep prioritizing the wrong thing, though. We, we keep jumping at the first route that's open, which, once again, either way, the ball is going to be completed there. But we got to protect what's going to gain more yards. I thought that was a screen. Oh, Woolen. Yeah, that's a touch on Tyreek. It's kind of happened twice now to Woolen where he's... You know, he's in good play and coverage, but he gets turned around at the worst time. Wish we had an RPO look on this. I'm kind of just going to go with the quick slants. And that is, I mean, it's crazy timing. Don't get me wrong, but, like, that is just insane. Like, the risk on that throw to barely get it in there. Second one from the 34. Gonna cut that in hard. Gain about four. Two-minute warning. Yeah, I don't, I hope Tyreek doesn't start getting going, but... At the same time, I really don't know what other matchup we can take. And we, I mean, there is so many players on the, that's just bad, dude. Like, I'm not saying it is predetermined, but I was predetermined the route combo on that left side. You know, you see the, the streak with the out, that looks so open pre-snap. Come on, Cole Turner, catch this. Yes. Okay, bailed me out a bit. Bailed, bailed me out a little bit. You know, it's, it's not easy. But there's so many people open on that. You got to make a play. T2 out. Well, this is a tough throw. Puts it on the money, though. Nice catch to the 25. We'll call a timeout. We're still moving. Uh, I call the timeout. I don't I don't need this kind of pressure on myself. Once again, I don't want to force it on first and 10. Inside, Sky Moore. Huge hit, though. Let's hurry up and spike it. Call timeout. That's, that's kind of a bad set of plays. I feel like I didn't want to waste the down, and the clock really wasn't that big of an issue at that point. So, I mean, it's not the worst call to come out of that, but I, once again, I do wish I didn't have to get rid of that timeout. But Sky Moore, maybe. That's a tough one. And, of course, it's picked off. Of course. Of course. Of course. Kevin King, greatest player ever. I will say, though, when you kind of set that up, like, yeah, the streak is open. The guy drags down, but Kevin King is kind of allowed to chase that. I mean, it's it's tough, dude. Once again, we're going back to playing the way we think we can play rather than taking what we can, you know, what they're giving us. Is Jordan Davis going to kill him? No, he's not. So, yeah, I finishes it, and... Even though it's going to be kind of nothing. We'll call our timeout just to try and make a, you know, force a mistake out of him. Goal line's risky here, but, you know, kind of want to just blow it up. All right, this is not uh, preferable. There's no way. And he misses the t Oh, that's just stupid. We had no timeouts to call either. They audibled so smartly, dude. What? What? Like, what are we doing? I mean, it's everything's going so well, and then we just do some dumb stuff again. And of course, just takes us down cleanly. Uh, it's all right. It's okay. Okay, you know, dumb stuff happens, especially with an uh, you know, inexperienced team. But it's about what you do after the dumb stuff that defines you. Really dumb stuff. Like a 14-point swing level of dump. But, yeah, I mean, it's still plenty of time. We can win this game. We are in such a good spot. We'd have been up seven with ball, and so we're down seven. But we still do have ball. We also have what appears to be good field position. Well, average field position, apparently. Come up with a five wide. I mean, who expects us to kind of get wild with it early? Probably everyone, actually. Is that Claypool? It's a little bit of under throw, but good job, Claypool. 15 yards. Was really hoping to be able to lead him in that and, you know, see what he could do downfield, but it is what it is. We got a bunch of drags. Davidson pretty open here. 
Kind of gets taken down cleanly by Murphy, which is just, I mean, kind of embarrassing. Got the read option. I don't know how they feel about this. They have the tight end. Uh, we have the tight end over there, so. And Kellen Mon, Lower the shoulder, big boy. Love it. Got the pitch play. They have guys on the wrong side, but we do have a lot of small players, so I don't know. We'll see. And, yeah, of course. Double cross. See if we got Claypool deep. Tight end's not really open, but, yeah, I mean, it turns it into a pretty big gain. Third and three. In field goal range, kind of. Because I really want to run the ball, but we just can't run the ball because we suck at it, so there's really no point. That was a predetermined in the half. We had Sky Moore just wide open there. But you know what? It worked, so screw it. Could be seeing Sky Moore here. Speaking of, maybe redeem him a little bit. And Sky Moore almost picked, almost caught. Not a good route. I mean, the way they had that ran, the safety was going to play back too far. And Sky Moore is going to get a catch in between probably around the 10-yard line. This is just a throwaway play, unfortunately. Cover that pretty well. This is really tough when you can't trust the route running, man. And that's pass interference. Cole Turner drops it. Still got there. It was a good throw, but that's absolutely pass interference. Field goal for Tucker is up, and it will be good. A bit of wind in this game, so if there's a little bit of inaccuracies from Kellen Mond. It's, you know, there's some to blame, but there really hasn't been the problem. Once again, it's just been people getting open. There has been a couple of decisionary mistakes, but overall, there really hasn't been a whole lot to, to hate from Kellen Mond. It's really just been kind of his supporting cast for the most part. There was a pretty bad miss earlier to 2-2, but made up for it with a couple of other big throws. I still can't believe that throw from Teddy. And once again, it's an unpressured throw. Well, I wouldn't say unpressured, but it's in a way unpressured because all he has to do is just throw it up as high as he can and far as he can. But, I mean, I, I don't know how he throws it that far, dude. They are a 7-2 and two team once again, but, I mean, we play every game as if this, you know, it's the start of the brand new season. Bringing the pressure, and Patrick Peterson just sold unbelievably hard. I don't know if he just missed, went short arm. What's the story? That should have been picked. Simply put, how is that not picked? Brought the blitz. Of course, it didn't work at all, but... Um, hello, sir. What are you doing? Pick the ball. Patrick Peterson is just such a hit or miss player, dude. It is so pain. Out is so open. Inside's open. Woolen. Woolen. I thought that was going to be caught. How is Woolen not picking that, dude? Jordan Davis is winning. And another missed pick. You've got to be joking me. You've got to be joking me. What is happening? Teddy Bridgewater has got the rabbit's foot. He has got it. Give it back. Missed hard on that. Oh, that's a one-on-one. Tackle. Stearns is pretty solid at tackling. Got to give it to him. Fresh off his breakout as well. I cannot believe this team right now. Ooh, we had that bait out. Nice hit. Damn, dude. We almost jumped that Tyreek play, but Teddy held it. Like I said, Tyreek Woolen is not playing terribly. Oh, that's a really good cutback. Short. Well, here we go. Goal line stand. Let's see if we can do it. Run commit first play to try to set up the rest of this thing. Browning. Good teamwork. He loses two. Like I said, get the run commit in there because first down is so likely of a run. And set up the whole rest of this thing. I don't think you can run commit here on this play. I just feel like they're ready. Yeah. And that's another play. I mean, that's tough. I'll give it to him. That one is more of a, you know, they just kind of made a good play, but another chance wasted. I mean, like, <gasps> come on. It's so tough. Only down 11, though, you know. We have the possession. Just got to try to keep matching and hope defense makes a stop. I mean, the defense has made a few. They've made a few plays. They've actually scored seven. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Please. Please stop. There goes Cole Turner. It's really good by us to uh, 
to reassess the play. They were going to kind of pre-snap that over to Sky Moore, but decided not to. This play hasn't been run by us in like a week or two now, but probably the perfect time. Maybe 2-2 two -two Atwell. Underneath to Hawkins. A lot of yards. Goes out of bounds. Run game has been pretty tragic. Can I slide left? Slide left, see what happens. Or not. Good cutback by Hawkins again, six and a half. Those defensive boys getting pissed. Jordan Davis would not want to get in the middle of that one. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Sky more maybe. Throw it away. Didn't look at the running back. I looked at every other route. I didn't I didn't see it. I didn't like it. I didn't see it. I threw it away pretty much. Claypool. Good route. That in cut was beautiful. Clean pocket. We did drop back pretty hard on that, but we're able to get that play in there. Claypool gets it. First down. The squiggly's getting crazy again. And number 78, Ben Barch, has been awful today. Like, I just don't understand why we're double teaming so much. They don't have guys on their D-line that are worth double teaming. Especially not the interior. Sky Moore's open enough. It's a pretty good throw. Holds on down to the 13. And now our right tackles, I mean, besides a couple of penalties, has played some good football for us since getting traded here. So hopefully he's not injured long. That'd be really unfortunate. As Ben Barch. Hey, not bad. Really good job last second to get back over there. I like it. That's all you got to do, man. I'm not asking for a whole lot. I just want you to cover your guy. Or, you know, not cover him, but they're not really ready for another run. We're going to go for it again. Up the middle. And the center does a pretty bad job. Hawkins slips off, gains about five again. Let's see Walker, please be held. Yeah, dislocated thumb. Pop that B in there. Pop that back in there. Come on. Kind of want to come back to the same play. You have to be a little careful. You know, you don't want to predetermine it too hard. There you go, Sky Moore. That was the predetermined. I'm a little surprised they went with it. I don't know if they just, their intel said, hey, they're going to run it again. But that was a little questionable on their part. I ain't going to lie. Corner fade. We could just run it up the middle. Do you have a lot of players there? I'm going to run it. Screw it. And there's nobody blocking off the edge. Wow. One's going to really screw ourselves with that pre-half, you know, swing, but we're back in it. That's all that matters. Burns getting locked up. Coverage. Great coverage. I mean, that's, I mean, how much more can you ask from the defense? That's a good job by Cox to just barrel through that block. Mid-blitz hurt us last time, but... We're going to do it. We're going for it again. And what is it? It's a press, isn't it? It's the press. Ah, thank God Teddy Bridgewater can't throw it all. Thank God he can't throw it all. Because, man, that should have been uh, that should have been a play. He got beat with Nizraldine. Good job by Tyndall filtering. Run defense is improving here in the fourth quarter. I'll tell you what. Perfect time to... Gotta, gotta make a play, man. I mean, he's got too much to cover. Like I said before, what has the better chance of getting more yards? The throw going out of bounds or that, you know, curl route that probably gains them the first down? Come on, Jordan. Free rush. No! We had to risk it, though. Did he miss, really? Hey, we had to risk that. Had to risk If you blow that up and he drops it... Not only does the drive come to an end, but they might not be able to score. Now, of course, they're moving again. And they're all the way to the 29. Come on, defense. Make a play. Can't get off the block. Burns. Jordan Davis. Two and a half sacks. He's killing it. Come on, Drake Jackson. Why don't you do something? Oh, Lord. About as good as you can get. Wollins actually played super well. I know he's gotten beat again a lot, like back-to-back -back weeks now, but considering his role, I mean, he's killing it. It's been pretty close all day. Come on, somebody get there. Don't let Teddy run. And we're just diving because nobody's coming up. And we get the stop? Question mark? They're going to go for this. 
two wide receivers, two running backs. I don't even know. I mean, I don't. I'm, if I'm them, I don't think I would run this. I'm run coming in. Yes, sacked. Tyson Anderson. That was a really good play call, but for some reason, Teddy held on. And is Claypool gonna score here? This looks like that free safety might jump. He might have had a chance, but just you know, it's five minutes left. We're down five. I'm not going to play any 50-50 ball, even though our guy's freaking 6-4. Still going to get beat on the play. And I still don't know what damn plays we're running because stupid thing. Going to go underneath again. Try to cut it inside. I mean, when have you seen us try to do a cut move with Cole Turner, you know? A juke move. I mean, maybe throw him off if you watch a bunch of tape. Play action. We're actually going to keep Cole Turner's route here. See what he's uh, up to. Go to Ebo. I might have had Claypool behind, but once again, if they're going to give us the dink and dime all the way down the field, we have plenty of time to do so. And honestly, not even just plenty of time, but it actually might benefit us because, you know, don't give them a chance before or right after we score potentially to get a chance. And there goes Hawkins slipping. First down. Numbers are looking a little bit better. I'm try to run it again up the middle. And we're actually winning some blocks here. Got about four and a half, five. All right, play action. We got uh, Claypool coming across. Screw it, Yeboa. Maybe should have waited for Claypool. It's just Claypool kind of got out of that break a little bad. Yeboa was open enough. Gets a bunch of yards there, but still short. Go the young buck. Ty Chandler hasn't touched the ball all day. Should be pretty fresh. And we can't get it. You've got to be effing kidding me, dude. Give it to the real OG. Give it to the damn fullback. He'll get it done. He'll get it done. Barely, but he'll get it done. Two-minute warning. Come on, boys. Running back's open. Looked at that left side. Oh, Hawkins. Damn. We're on the chew clock here. And they're in a weird defense here. I don't know what the kind of prevent they're doing here. And we're going to sit down. I mean, I get it, right? But, like, we're not that dumb. Yeah, that's weird. Really weird threw a pick on this last time. Sky Moore. And did we score too quick? Let's get this two point. This, this two point is massive. It is so freaking important. Back in the end zone. I really think this is 2 2 at well or the left side of the field. That's tough. That's a really bad ball. Holy crap. Don't let him score. Don't let him score, boys. Come on. It's a really bad pass. Like, it wasn't bad by us. It was just, like, way overthrown to the right, too. Keep this in. Waste a little bit of clock. That would be preferable. And that's a good tackle attempt. You've got to be kidding me. They lost five seconds, but gained nine yards. But the clock won't run, so it's... It's an iffy trade-off. I don't know what to think. Uh, I mean, it happened, I guess. That's really all I can say. One-point deficit. Decent coverage. Teddy's going to run, and he stays in bounds. I know they have three timeouts. I don't know if he was just trying to make some sick play happen, but that's not a bad start for the defense, I suppose. Come on. Come on, Burns. Burns! Woolen! Ooh, good job by Woolen to cheat a little bit there. You know, Woolen doesn't have to get out of his way, you know? He doesn't have to. Cover four is such a... Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't like it. But, like, what do you do? Just drill in the middle. Is he going to run? And that... Oof. I think that should have been offensive pass interference. Fourth and two... Oh, man. This is too close. Oh, please run it. Please run it. Here, take the run. It won't. Deeper. And the game's over. We win. Suck it. Against a 7-2 and two team, that feels good. Oh, now, oh, now the Texans are... Oh, boo-hoo. We lost. Yeah, go freaking cry. Call timeouts. Cry all you want. 
Player of the game, though, has to absolutely go to Jordan Davis. That man was a freak of nature. That man was pressuring left and right. Came away with some actual sacks as well. Brian Burns did play better, but still not great, obviously. As great as he's supposed to be, at least for us. And then Tutu Atwell kind of disappeared a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. Like, he had that one drive where it was like 60 yards and a touchdown to him, pretty much. Yet, he just kind of disappeared, you know? So, I don't, I don't know what happened there. But looking at the uh, the game, similar ratings across the board. The difference is that we had one extra interception. And on top of that, I think it was because of, you know, one of them being picked six. Obviously, we did have that really brain-dead drive and then, you know, goal line play at their own five. It does seem like the smart call would just be to run it, but, I mean, I suppose you give them you know, that much room, especially with Tyreek. A lot of room for error there. And Kellen Mond kind of bounces back with a pretty good performance. You know, that interception, pretty bad decision. A couple of bad throws, but overall a decent performance. Rushing Hawkins got the numbers up a little bit, but overall was not great himself. Joe Mixon was actually limited. He looked really good and then just got limited hard. Uh, but Sky Moore, two touchdowns. Seven for 71. Devontae Smith did really well. Tyreek did really well. Uh, uh, Tutu Atwell, like I said, 5 for 83 with a touchdown. More than half of that was on one drive. Cole Turner was all right. Claypool, he got a couple of clutch catches for us. And that's pretty much that for the offense. Defensively, two and a half for Jordan Davis. Tyson Anderson with one and a half for Togiai. Uh, and then cornerbacks, the two tall guys with a little bit of athleticism. Obviously, Woolen's more than a little bit with picks. Pick six for Tariq Woolen. And that is a performance. That is a performance. The two-point conversions almost cost us the game, though. Obviously, they're not easy to get any in any way, shape, or form. But still, if we would have just went with the field goals or the extra points, would have been fine. Ben Barks, the trash can. Let's get a power upgrade. Didn't go up in overall, but should get some upgrades. You know, plus two to pass block power. That's great. Uh, power or strength, anyways. Lead block and an agility. Pass block power is now 72. I mean, he's not the worst lineman we've got, but you know, it just seems like there's always a new lineman every week that just gets focused on. Obviously, he does have the inside zone kind of lead clear block, so he does have kind of the more focused position, but still, we need some performances. Of course, looking at the goals, we hit them all. Not bad. No conversions allowed. We got a pick. We scored two offensive touchdowns, 15 first downs. That was a performance. That was a win and a half. Of course, still a long way to go before we have a chance at the playoffs. But four and six, got to feel good about trading that pick a little bit more this week. And yeah, we got to go against Philadelphia next week. Kind of the battle of the bottom. <laughs> battle of the bottom of the division coming up. And then uh, shortly after, play them again. So we'll see what that's going to be like. But home field advantage came into play today and... We got the one-point victory clutching up. That was a really clutch drive on both sides, really, right at the end of the game. Five minutes left, turned into a four-minute touchdown drive, and defense was able to hold out. I really didn't think they were going to, to be honest, especially with that kicker turn. Gains nine extra. Five seconds is five seconds, but that means nothing when you're gaining nine yards and you know the clock's not going to run afterwards. So I was a little worried, but we held on. We did our job, and... We moved to four and six. The season is not dead yet. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. I really did. I like I said, I enjoy these challenging, uh, you know, franchise rebuilds. Like this is actually a challenge to me. You know, I could play against users and, you know, feel pretty good about my chances of winning. But this, it's just like a complete toss up every week. Is you really have to make your reads. I mean, even if I wanted to run double drags all the way down the field, I still wouldn't feel confident with scoring because. They I kind of uh, adjust to that, and you know, half the time, you know, you go for that quick throw, and there's still a guy on you, anyways. So, I mean, it's a really challenging one, and I enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Like I said, maybe subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jump Care, Second Channel, Care Plays. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you guys come back for the next video. But until the next video. Uh...